wow would you look at that so many books hello everyone my name is crow and welcome back to the minecraft bedrock guide and in the last episode we went caving and we got a bunch of iron and a little bit of diamonds which is honestly really good which we will be using them probably after this episode if everything goes well and why am i saying that because in today's episode we will be making a fully afk fish farm and what is that exactly so since i am playing on a pc aka minecraft windows 10 for bedrock i have access to an auto clicker so this will pretty much let me fish all night as long as i have a mending fishing rod and what exactly is a mending it's an enchantment specific for all the tools that lets it repair its durability with experience and while you're fishing you're also gaining experience and using up your tool so you will eventually end up getting more experience than what your tool is taking a toll out of its durability so you can endlessly keep on fishing but before that we actually have to afk fish with a regular fishing rod that will eventually break until we can possibly get a fishing rod that has the enchantment of mending and that's just not the only thing we're after but and so what what are the other reasons that we're making this it's because from a fish farm you can get a bunch of enchanted books that have really good enchantments for any of your tools you can get fish since i'm literally only eating berries as you can tell that's literally my berry farm a bunch of name tags enchanted bows and enchanted rods as i just said lily pads knowledge shells so we can make a conduit later on and leather so we can make our enchanting station later on in the next couple episodes after we make a cow farm so let's get started making the fish farm. So first thing I'm going to do, well, what I'm going to do is going to set down this block right here. So this is where I will be standing. We're going to dig out these two, these two blocks over here. I'm going to place, grab our chest. I'm going to place this one down. We're going to place more chests down below eventually. I'm just not going to do it real, because uh, it's going to take too long, but we're going to put a chest that goes into here and, and a hopper facing down into the chest. I'm going to pick up this dirt real quick. I'm going to change this block as well so I know not to dig it up whenever I am moving things around. We're going to grab our water bucket. I'm going to place it on there so it flows into there. So whenever you're fishing and you catch something and it doesn't automatically get picked up by this one, it will flow on. It will flow from the water into this hopper, which will still get into the chest. We are going to grab some more blocks. Place a block up here like so. And a, whoop, not there. We're going to place another block, two blocks over here. Going to grab our trip wire. Place our trip wires right there. Grab our piece of string. Place it on there. And we're going to, I'm going to keep those blocks for right now. I'm going to put a block right there. And a, grab our piece of redstone. Going to put that right there. A torch right on there. Grab our iron trap door. Place it right there. Maybe we should probably rehook this. There we go. You want to keep it up like that. And honestly, that's that's it. That is a fish farm. So we're gonna grab our fishing rod and we're gonna try this out real quick. So we're gonna stand on our block. Doesn't really matter exactly where you stand. You see, it's gonna activate the trip wire, and so you're gonna keep the auto clicker is gonna keep on clicking, and whenever it gets reeled in like this. The auto clicker will automatically click and it will pick something up and let's see we got a raw salmon let's do that again oh it's ready oh didn't we didn't catch anything that time we're gonna try it again oops uh let's see let's see what we get this time might take a while and let's see what we got another raw cod so that's pretty good so pretty much we're gonna leave this running for a couple of minutes and i'll be right back but on before i do that i know it's gonna look really ugly on video but i'm just gonna surround myself with so i don't end up getting attacked at night because you know nobody wants that and we're just gonna you know close it off you know it's, it's gonna look major ugly but it's okay because, you know, I just want to be safe. Do I honestly have to build it this high? Probably not, but just to be in case, just to be sure. Because honestly, the main fact of this 
one of the reasons that I'm also in the jungle biome is because it rains a lot. And one of the good things about a fish farm is when it gets direct rain, for example, if rain would to start raining right now and it hit these water blocks, it would actually increase the chances of loot coming in. So this will pretty much make sure that no mobs get in there, especially like zombies or stuff. And I'm just going to close this off. It's going to look, it's really ugly. I know it is. But uh, I'm going to grab a couple of torches and make uh, light it up inside. And all right. So I expanded the storage a little bit and got, a, got at least one, two, three, four, five chests. And I'm going to be going away for about an hour or so. And we're going to see. Honestly, I'm just going to come back the next day. I'm going to leave it running overnight. And let's see how much stuff we get. But until then, I'll see you guys literally in the next shot and it is the next day and we're about to see what we got from afk overnight fishing and as you can already tell look at my levels i'm at 71 from last time when we were playing i think that was like at 19 maybe 9 i honestly don't remember but we're about to go and see what we got my entire inventory is full because this is already overflowing we're just gonna come down here and let's see Oh wow, would you look at that? So many books. Oh geez. That is a lot of stuff. And I'm especially happy because it, there's honestly a bunch of fish because on this these sweet berries are just not cutting it for me anymore. They they just just getting one hunger hunch. Every time you eat is kind of annoying, but with all of this, I'm definitely going to be eating really good for like the next couple of days. But oh, I'm going to sort through all of these and see everything that we got. So after a couple of minutes of cleaning up the mess that was in those chests, we have gotten all of this. All of these, almost about three barrels of enchanted books, a buttload of uncooked fish that's ready to be eaten by my stomach. Bunch of name tags, lily pads, a bunch of ink sack, a bunch of knowledge shells so we can later on make a conduit, some bones so we can maybe start making a little wheat farm for our cows, yeah, a bunch of trip wire hooks even though we probably won't be needing them, a little bit of leather, some bamboo even though we're in the middle of a bamboo forest, a bunch of string until we find a cave spider spawner and we can make a farm out of it, some rotten flesh, some cocoa beans even though still we're in a a jungle biome some bowls i'm not sure what we're going to use them for but just look at this mess this is literally all the junk that i am not keeping it's a bunch of fishing rods enchanted bows water bottles um saddles that we don't need and we pretty much found a good fishing rod i'm breaking three look at the c3 lore three and mending this is going to be our permanent fishing rod for whenever we decide to do these and maybe off camera, I'm going to expand the storage because I believe I lost some, a lot of items while I was sleeping. Honestly, because I came back in and my entire inventory was clogged up too, even up to here. And this other hopper right here at the bottom was clogged up, which pretty much makes me think I should probably add like maybe three more, three more, uh, three more chests down there so we can make sure we keep everything even though right now it looks completely ugly i plan on making this look a little bit much nicer but um one of the other things that we did get um i think i forgot to show it off or haven't talked about it yet is uh and i'll show you guys in just a second so this is pretty much the entire things that i was hoping to get we got a a soul mending book a fortune three with mending that's definitely going to be going on my diamond pickaxe Another fortune three with mending. I kind of more like it for the mending and feather falling that we're going to be putting on some boots eventually. Efficiency four, definitely for that pickaxe. Another, uh, this one will probably be going on to a diamond sword with the unbreaking three fire aspect two. Probably so we can start uh, making a cow farm and when we kill them instantly, they'll cook the meat so we don't have to eat, uh, wait for it to get cooked, but we will have to eat it. And we also got Silk Touch, which is honestly pretty good. Um, got another Fire Aspect, kind of more like it for the multi-shot for a crossbow. 
respiration fortune 2 not really that good i was kind of looking for when i first picked this i was i was looking for fortune 3 but this one came up too so i just put it off to the side and we talked about that one and one that just has soul looting 3 for our sword and that's what we're going to be doing right now is getting some wherever we keep our iron we i made a bunch of chests for it because i'm i try to be very organized we're gonna come into our crafting table we're gonna make three iron blocks so we can make an anvil in this shape gonna get this right here we're gonna get our diamonds we're gonna get some of our wood oh, let's get the sticks real quick and i'm gonna set down the anvil right there oh i love that noise i'm gonna make one one diamond pickaxe we're gonna go into it and we're gonna put on this bad boy right here mending this is exactly what i've been wanting from day one of this series i this is what i was looking for the most and we're gonna put in that efficiency four great and let's see and the un oops and the unbreaking onto it unbreaking three mending one efficiency four and let's see where is that one oh i think i messed up oh no i'm gonna have that was, that's such a waste of a book but oh no unbreaking three fortune three mending one efficiency four pretty much our best pickaxe so that is definitely gonna be replaced by this one so, but until now, um, anytime we use this pick, we're going to have to AFK fish farm. So whenever we have to repair it, sadly. And then let's see what else we can make it could happen right now. Probably our diamond sword would be probably best. Going to put it in here. Definitely going to put the looting on there eventually. I'm going to put the looting on there. And, oh well, put the mending on it as well. And the fire aspect, of course. Oof, there we go. And while we're at it, I do think we are due for a little bit of an upgrade right now. So we're going to make a iron helmet, an iron chest plate, some iron leggings, and some boots. Boom. Got some protection because lately a lot of patrols have been spawning around here and i've been having to take them out because i don't have i literally don't have anything to properly fight them so i keep on dying which i definitely won't be showing on camera and in between episodes i got a little bird and that's gonna be it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys liked this for me introducing you all to afk fishing especially if you're on windows 10 because you can easily just afk fish with an auto clicker and I forgot to mention this while I was recording, but the the fish farm is by another YouTuber by who goes by the name of Silent Whisper. He's also he also does Minecraft Bedrock videos, and that's literally where I found it. I'm definitely gonna be leaving a link to the AFK fish farm video that I watched for you guys to start if you guys want to use it. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.